I went with the same coil over again that I have on my hatch. The reason I went with these is because, um, first of all, I have on my hatch. Second of all, the race proven. Third of all, they just sponsored me. I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, third of all, just um, how they performed on the street on my hatch is like so amazing. Charles digs them. I dig them. Everyone that has gotten into my hatch has uh, dug the suspension. <laughs> I thought it was so dope. It just feels so good, so quality, and like you could adjust the dampening. It's a 32-way dampening system that you could actually feel like from the moment you go soft to hard. So I dig it. A lot of people say they're a little bit too soft, but for me, they're just perfect. So I do nothing but street driving, so it's cool. So let's get these bad boys unboxed. Alright, so first we got the rears. Hey, boy. Really, really, like, they look amazing. I love the the color, everything about them, like, I don't know, they just look super sick to me. But, set that aside. We got hardware here. Springs. Collars. Springs with the collar. And then the fronts. There we go. The front ends are heavy. The thing huh, that they use. <laughs> like you're like, you know how they make those little houses in Japan with them? Uh huh. But damn, look at that. That's crazy. All right, so these. This is the front here, guys. And it comes with the, like the, I don't know what this is called, the top hat, but it's really, really clean. I don't know if you could adjust these or not, like if it's um, adjustable for like the camber or not. I have to look more into it, but I'm pretty sure that it is. But anyway, um, K2 coil over guys, 32 weight dampening. These are the K1s, not the K2. And um, these are gonna go in. Today. Today, guys. So excited. I know we're gonna have to uh, remove this bolt here from the brake line. We're gonna have to remove the sensor here. We're gonna have to remove one, two bolts, like that, just like so. And got me the light over there. Okay, you guys can see right here. Actually, never mind, Charles. So one, two, three bolts right there, and uh, strut will pop off. So the back is gonna be a uh, separated spring so you guys can see the separate there from the strut the strut has one bolt there and then in the top as well another one but to get this spring out you are gonna have to uh remove the uh, subframe brace right there so um that's what we're gonna have to do on that side all right guys so the top bolt the one on the inner side on this side is gonna be a 19 this one's gonna be a 17 we got a breaker bar here Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Lefty loosey is this one. Okay. So you guys see it loosening there already. Come out, bitch. I don't want to hit the car. All right, there it is. All I have is two flathead screwdrivers. So we're going to make it happen like this. We can. Oh, I was almost out. Oh, yeah. Come on, beach. There it is. So that sensor comes off. Next is going to be this uh, bracket here. And it, I believe it's a 12, if I'm not mistaken. Just like so. Okay, so one is loose. Okay. Second one is loose. Go to the third one. Make sure your socket's all the way in. 
Third one is loose. There we go. All right, so that's one right there. We got one of the nuts out. I'm gonna go to the second one. All right, so second one is out. And the third one. Whoa. The suspension will pretty much wiggle out now. If I can get it out. That's, there's no more bolts in there? No, it's okay. just this one right here. Okay. It's gonna have to go on. Cause it's in here, you see this right here? Yeah. It's like on a, like, like in there, in there. I don't know how to explain it, but I had to get like in here. See that, how it moves? Wiggle bit. See that? Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys saw how I got in there with the flathead screwdriver got from the top of this right here to the back. And I just like kind of like slipped it out, but suspension is pretty much all the way out now. It slides out. Dude, look at just how like so. so check this out. Look how bootleg this is. Hala chopper. No. All right. Look at that. Compared to this beauty right here. That's beauty and the beast right there. Crazy, huh? Mm. Alright guys, so what I'm doing right now, I'm just making sure everything is set to the way I want it. Um, Preload was an, a question that I had on one of my last videos. So on uh, my K-Tuned uh, coilover install for the uh, hatch, I had a question. I had some guy ask me, um, preloading, is it already preloaded when they come out the box? Yes, but um, K-Tuned wants you to um, check them beforehand as well. So. We're good there. You me? Yeah. No, very fucking me. That's in. Bless you, thank you. So the way I always do my coilovers is I always put these top ones in first. So that way, when I put the fork back on, it's really, really simple. All right, guys. So uh, front suspension is all in. You guys can see the bolt through there, bolt through down there. Now we're going to attach this uh, sensor, just like so. And then this bolt goes through here, just like this for the brake line. Out with the old. I guess so. We've had a lot of trouble. Papa's came to help me real quick. Um, Chas's brother. But um, let me just show you guys. Like, this is the strut here. This is the old strut. And this thing is like, it'll compress. But as you guys see there, it's not coming back up. I have to like kind of force it to come back up. Look at that. So that's how you know. These struts were hella bad. I had like a bouncy ass ride. It felt like I was on a boat, bro. <laughs> like I was on some waves, but there it is. This thing's out, completely shot. This one's already measured out to the height that we need. We pretty much bottomed out this lower piece here. So um, we went all the way up on it. We can't go any higher. I gotta tighten this collar. Once we're done with that collar, we could install these. Um, spring is gonna go in next. I'll show you guys the spring in just a little bit. All right guys, so here we have the spring. And um, the reason why I didn't show you guys a little bit ago was because um, these were actually already on the car, but I um, had to measure it twice just be, to be certain. I didn't know how low I needed to go, but I figured it out. So K2 spring is here, and then we have the perch here, and this just sits in here just like this, and this mounts inside the car. I'll just show you guys in just a second, but um, the way I adjusted mine, I wanted the lowest setting I could go possibly, so um, mine is set just like this. So this is at the very top of here, and then these are just tightened. And then we'll get the spring. <clears throat> this goes on here just like so. And then come with me to the car. I'll try to get some good light right there. And then this sets in just like so right here. Push the down a little bit. All right, let it go. All right, and that's just set just like that. And you turn, this thing is messed up right here. So this is gonna set just sit just like that. Um, this isn't even connecting with the top because it's so low of a spring, uh, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> or if you guys don't know what I mean, um, the spring is short, and then this is all the way short into the, the short, shortest possible uh, setting. So that's why it's not touching the top, so. That's going to be the shortest possible setting. I have it on the other side already. Um, the slowest setting is on the um, 
strut as well. So that's gonna give us the lowest height possible for this um, coilover. Anyway, um, when we set the car down, this will go into position and then we'll be able to install our strut. All right, now the strut is gonna go in. And this is really, really simple as well. <clears throat> so, I'm just gonna slide this in. So we can find the hole, push that in. And then um, to position it, down here isn't even tough at all. The reason for that is because the strut is at the lowest setting possible, so it just makes it easy. Now from there, I could just uh, push up this uh, arm here and it'll go into position and then we'll tighten it from the top. That'll be gravy baby right there. All right guys, so the k coil coilover is fully installed all the way up. Um, we have the 14 millimeter, hold this purpose for me, the light. So we have the 14 millimeter bolt that goes into the uh, strut here. That's already tied in. Um, spring is all the way tied in and preloaded. And then the uh, other, for the uh, control arm, this has to be removed for the spring to come out. And that other bolt there is tied in now. Now all we have to do, or the next thing we have to do is tighten up the bolt in the back. I'll show you guys which bolt I'm talking about right now. Cale papas. So this bolt here um, is tightened with a 17 millimeter. And in there where this, uh, to tighten it or to make it harder soft right here it comes with a uh, allen wrench and the allen wrench size is a five millimeter or no what the f what size is it four you guys can see there size four milli or mil whatever it is millimeter i think it is um head goes in there you tighten this at and hold the other one so where the fuck is it at so you hold this and then tighten at the same time just like this so you'll be tightening You'll be tightening and whatever you guys get it all right guys so car is already on the floor right now we removed the jacks um we did not put the added band wheels on right now we're gonna put those on in the next video for you guys but right now suspension is all the way settled down we have it on the si wheels and let me just show you guys what this looks like it looks crazy so different all right so this is what it looks like that's all the way slammed on the coilovers right there of course these are seven in 17 inch wheels so they're a little bit smaller than the 18 inch that we have there so the 18 inch are gonna look a lot better than this and these are all hella ugly and dirty but that is it right there, guys. That's what it's gonna sit like on these wheels. On the, um, on the, uh, I was gonna say Volks. On the Advance, it looks way better. But um, I'm excited. It looks even good like that, huh? Like just tomorrow like that? Yeah. It doesn't look like too, too dumb. I know it look, it look a little bit better. We can go a little bit lower, but we want a family car that we could drive, daily drive. So um, this is gonna be a good setup for us. Um, suspension, as you guys know from my hatch, this is a great suspension to go with. It's like very, very street um, oriented, but you could also take it to the track. It's a little bit um, bouncy or a little bit soft, not bouncy, but softer than you would like for the track. But um, these are some solid coilovers. If you guys want to cop some, ktune.com. I'm not sponsored at all, but ktune, like I said, if you guys want to sponsor me, I'm a chance I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, guys, so you guys saw what the car looks like, the SI. It looks really, really good. I can't wait for the future of this car. It's gonna look so dope, so much cleaner. We got a lot more products that are gonna go come for the car itself um some motor mods more uh of the exterior as well i don't know if i'm gonna get rid of more stuff like these visors i don't know yet just exactly but um from the looks of it i think i might remove them also the uh, wing itself i don't know if i'm just gonna get it um color matched or if i'm gonna remove it as well but you guys will see stay tuned to find out that's just a little bit of uh insight for you guys if you guys want to know a little bit more of what's going on with or what's going to go on in the future of this car so stay tuned for sure more stuff is going to come but um for now we got to um fix the other side um just a couple of little little tweaks that we have to do for the other side but um pretty much that's it that's how the si is going to sit k tune coilovers if you guys want to cop them k uh, .com. also uh follow me on my new instagram that's going to be at the machansa vlog follow me there and also follow at fkx racing for all the great products um that's where i got my advan wheels that's where i got the uh lug nuts that's where i got the um center center hub ring so um he has a lot of great products let him know i sent you and without further ado guys that's the suspension there we'll catch you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching peace